In an exclusive interview with The Hill, President Donald Trump was asked what he viewed the biggest mistake in American history, and his answer just sent the Republican Party on a whirlwind spiral. The worst single mistake ever made in the history of our country, going into the Middle East, by President Bush. Obama may have gotten them U.S. soldiers out wrong, but going in is to me the biggest single mistake made in the history of our country. Because we spent $7 trillion dollars in the Middle East. An OW, if you want to fix a window someplace, they say, oh gee, let's not do it. Seven trillion and millions of lives, you know, cause I like to count both sides. Millions of lives. To me, it's the worst single mistake made in the history of our country. Civil war you can understand. Civil war, civil war. That's different. For us to have gone into the Middle East, and that was just, that was a bad day for this country, I will tell you. That's right, for once Trump didn't pin the entire blame on President Obama, he full on blasted a member of his own party, presumably the worst move he can make right now for the GOP. Between his time as a presidential candidate and his 20 months in the White House, Trump has personally attacked 11 Republicans, which is essentially unheard of. The president mistakenly shows no restraint going after fellow Republicans, even though it gives his party a bad reputation. On a side note, yes, the Bush era years were some of the worst in our history, forcing Obama to inherit a mess and do some damage control. But President Trump has equaled, and some may go as far as saying surpassed Bush's historic disasters. In a way, Trump is admitting that the Republican Party is to blame for our country's greatest strategic catastrophe.